Welcome back everyone. Today we'll recap a 2015 Filipino supernatural horror film named Haunted Mansion. A girl who has the ability to see ghosts spends the night in a haunted mansion with her classmates, who at first decided it would be fun to look for spirits but soon discovered the terrifying truth. Kindly remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked the video. The movie begins by showing a group of school children going to their house after a school retreat. But Miel's father has not come to pick him up yet. His teacher tells him that his dad is on his way, and asks him to stay there and goes to find the helper. Miel hears the agonizing screams of his teacher and goes inside a big mansion. He sees a woman in black there and thinking she is his teacher starts following her. He then stumbles across a dead body, which he realizes to his horror as his teacher. Best friends Ella and Faye are students of a prestigious school. One of their friends and classmates named Adrian harbors romantic feelings for Ella. Ella confesses that she will not be able to attend their school retreat due to financial problems. Adrian offers to pay for her registration but Ella kindly declines. Later, Faye tells Ella that she forgot her phone in the canteen and goes to pick it up. Now Ella is alone in the corridor when the lights start flickering and she hears a girl cry. Seeing her, Ella screams loudly. And then three girls named Megan, Jessie, and Allison makes fun of her. The next day, during a chemistry class, Jacob, who also harbors feelings for Ella despite being Megan's desire, was asked by the clique to give Ella a box of chocolates that actually contains cockroaches unbeknownst to Jacob and Ella. At home, Ella's mom notices her sad behavior and gives her money to join the retreat, which she reluctantly accepts. They then reach the mansion where they are greeted by caretakers Celia and Andy. Celia explains to everyone of the mansion's history and was owned by a rich woman named Donia Amar. Now that night when Ella is sleeping, she had a vision about a woman in black committing suicide by hanging herself. She wakes up scared and sees that black lady on the window. When she goes to check, the lady calls her name from behind. Ella ignores it and closes the window, but then she hears the sound of a woman crying. Fearing that she closes her ears and sees the black lady there. The lady then leaves there and Ella starts following her. She sees that she goes inside the confessional. But just as she is about to check, Jack and Jesse walk out of there. Later, Ella sees the photo of the same lady. Just then Celia comes over and Ella asks her about the woman in the photo. Celia explained that she was Veronica, Amara's younger sister who committed suicide because of shame from being raped by the mansion gardener Jane. Jane was then burned to death by people close to the family. Now that night, Anding takes them to see the personal cemetery of the mansion where he shows them the graves of Amara and Veronica. Later, Adrian overhears Jacob's friends that he only likes Ella to make Megan jealous. That night, Ella, Faye, and Adrian were terrorized by whom they thought was a ghost, only for them to find out that it was another prank pulled by Megan and her clique. A drain here reveals that Jacob is using Ella to make Megan jealous. The argument ensues into a violent fight, which was stopped by an angry Miss Gonzalez and Miss Toss. Then Miss Gonzalez tells them that now they are not allowed to attend the remaining activities in the retreat and instead served attention by cleaning the whole vicinity. Later that night, when Ella goes out to throw the garbage, she is haunted by the ghost of Jamie and ended up fainting in fright. Thinking it was another prank pulled by Megan, Miss Gonzalez says that to fix them all, they have decided they all will stay for another day in the mansion to work out their differences. Now the next day, Ella confessed to Adrian that she has the ability to see ghosts and when she was younger, caused her father to be killed, for which she blamed herself. Here Jacob is also listening to these things from outside. That night Megan and the group decide to haunt ghosts but Jacob refuses to join them and leaves. Ella warns them that it is not a good idea and something bad may happen to them. Now after they leave, the rest decide to leave Megan's cell phone plugged in a battery pack in the confessional in hopes that they will record the black lady's voice. A storm hits the town and causes a power outage the next morning while water begins to flood the mansion. That night, Steve remembered Megan's phone and asked if she has already retrieved it. He goes to get it alone while the others were fixing candles and putting buckets in leaking areas. Father Anthony noticed Allison, Steve, and Jack's disappearance and Jesse volunteered to look for them. Now all of them are checking the leakage when suddenly all the windows open, and a chandelier suddenly drops on the floor and injures Father Anthony's legs rendering him immobile. Jesse found Jack who was revealed to be cheating on her with Allison. On the confessional, Steve retrieves Megan's phone and decides to listen to if there were voices recorded, and gets friend when James' ghost appeared pointing at something. 
He tried to escape but was caught by another violent ghost. His tongue was then severed and he was killed. Jesse stumbles into Steve's dead body, seeing they all get panicked, and bring him back to the house. Jacob finds Megan's cell phone in Steve's pocket, which he gives to Miss Gonzalez and she goes to find the signal. While making the call, Miss Gonzalez accidentally listens to Veronica's voice recording and Jame appears pointing at something. Miss Gonzalez suffers from an asthma attack and orders Jacob to grab her inhaler. Faye stays with Miss Gonzalez and decides to listen to the voice recording as well. Jame appears once again pointing at something. Suddenly, the ghost who killed Steve appears and throws Faye and Miss Gonzalez to a wall injuring them severely. Ella and the others hear their screams and when they ran to help them, they find their corpses with their tongues ripped out. Jacob tells everybody that he saw Miss Gonzalez freaking out over something she heard on the phone. Father Anthony advises them to listen to the recorded message as they might learn something about the killing. The recording turns out to be Veronica's confession, stating that she committed suicide not because Jim raped her but because they fell in love. Veronica adds that Amara, a witchcraft practitioner, did not approve of their relationship as she had feelings for Jim also. Due to her practice of sorcery, Amari influenced everyone to believe that Jim raped her sister and burned him alive. This led to Veronica committing suicide as she lost the love of her life. Eventually, Amara died too. Until now, she don't stop going to the confessional to ask forgiveness for what she did. Ella learns that anyone who hears Veronica's confession will be killed by Amara, because she did not want anybody to know the truth. Now that all of them had heard the confession, Megan says that now they all will die. Suddenly James ghost appears and points at Amara's ghost approaching them. Seeing her, they get scared and start running. Celia and Anning try to open the door but Amara blasts them through the glass door eventually killing them. Ella, Adrian, and Jacob carry Father Anthony to safety. But they see that Amara is following them. Father asks them to leave him behind stating that the Lord is with him no matter what. The trio reluctantly leaves him and Father starts to read prayers. But it seems it was not affecting her. Amara then disappears from there, but suddenly she attacks and kills him. On the other hand, Megan and the others cross the flooded area outside the mansion, where an Allison is pulled down by a supernatural force. Jack and Jesse, who noticed her disappearance, are also pulled down and killed before they can warn Megan. Megan now alone encounters Amara surfacing up from the water feasting on the tongues of her three friends. Seeing this, Megan starts running away in fear, but Amara lifts her, grabs her neck, and finally kills her. Now the three are hiding from Amara when Ella remembers her mother saying that her ability to talk to spirits is a grace from God, and it happened for a reason. Ella is then drawn to a vision of the afterlife and is greeted by Veronica and Jane. They tell her that to stop Amara she has to take her body out of her grave and must destroy it or put it on fire. That is the only way to put an end to Amara. She has to do it before she transforms into a human being. The trio then heads to a private tomb in the back area of the house to exhume Amara's corpse. Jacob and Adrian break her tomb and take out her grave and find that Amara's remains are still inside it. Ella tells them that now they have to destroy her corpse. And before Jacob could destroy the corpse, Amara stops him. Now seeing this, all three get very scared and start running away. But Jacob gets injured. He asks Ella and Adrian to leave him. After which Amara catches him and throws him on a tree. Due to which he dies, next, the Ron hands of Amara grab Adrian's leg and pull him down to the ground, also killing him. Now Ella is left alone and she runs to the chapel and hides inside the confessional. Amara finds her there, but she somehow frees herself and comes out from there. Amara then comes in front of her and starts laughing out loud. Ella tries to stop her by showing the crucifix, but Amara is not scared of it. Then Ella stabs her in the mouth and takes out her tongue. This causes Amara to burn and she starts screaming loudly as she dies. Ella is blasted by the force backward, injuring her head. Sometime later, Ella is then seen with her mom and was greeted by her younger siblings. It turned out that Ella suffered from amnesia caused by the head injury as she did not recognize them at all. Three months later, Ella woke up in her home to find out that her memory has returned. Then the door of her room opens by itself and Ella, suspecting it as her mother tells her the good news, however, the spirit of Amara appears and asks if she remembers her as well. She then starts assaulting her, and the two fight, resulting in Ella getting mortally wounded. Amara tells Ella that her friends are waiting for her and then she stabs her with a piece of glass. Ella then places a rosary around her neck and uses her strength to condemn Amara back to hell. As Amara screams and vanishes, Ella collapses unconsciously to the floor. The camera pans up to her as she opens her eyes and the screen cuts to black. 
Thanks for watching.